Good afternoon. I'm here with Commissioner Ellis, who's long been a champion of children and families, and we want to make sure that families take advantage of an important program. It is Early Childhood Education Week, folks. So first, I need to note an important milestone we crossed yesterday at the Harris County Commissioner's Court, where we voted three to two to support uh, what to our knowledge is the largest single investment by the Harris County Commissioner's Court in early childhood education, an $8 million investment. I want to stress what I said yesterday, which is that early childhood programs have some of the highest returns on investment of any public program out there. The kids that participate in early childhood education end up with higher graduation rates, higher earnings, get into less trouble, less contact with the criminal justice system. And so if you care about violent crime, if you care about economic opportunity, if you care about the future of children in this community, you should care about investments in early childhood education. All of us should care about making sure that our kids get the strongest start possible. So we are over the moon that we're moving in the right direction on early childhood in this county. That brings me to what we are here today to discuss, and that is an important deadline at the end of this next month, March 31st. Right now, today, parents who work in certain service industries qualify for a year of free childcare, and all they have to do is fill out a very brief two-page application. The service industry includes arts, entertainment, recreation, accommodation, food services, retail. All of these folks are eligible so long as they meet certain income thresholds. Here are some examples of folks who qualify. If you work at a clothing store, if you work at a grocery store like HEB or Kroger, if you work at a furniture store, if you work at Fiesta, a car dealership, if you work at a restaurant or a bar, if you work at a gas station, you could qualify. If you have a question about what that means, whether you qualify, visit the website, call the phone number. Some of the occupations that qualify are not obvious. For example, artists qualify if they have the certain income threshold. And so we encourage artists to apply. They may not think of themselves as folks in the service industry. So go to harriscountykids.com to see the full list of who qualifies or call 713-334-5980. This is literally free childcare for 12 months. These opportunities do not come often. And so I ask everybody to apply to help us spread the word. The Service Industry Recovery Child Care Program has more than 10,000 slots available. But on March 31st, all of those slots go away. The sooner you can submit the application, the better. Because that way, if there's a mistake, if they're missing any information, there's a chance for you to correct it before that March 31st deadline. Applying is very easy. You just go to harriscountykids.com. You fill out the application. It's two pages. If you have questions, you can call the phone number. And there should be folks help uh, available to answer questions. There are folks available in English and Spanish, and the application is available in English and Spanish. Throughout the pandemic, parents have soldiered on. I know that it's been the toughest job, truly, to be a parent in this pandemic through all of the challenges. And so when daycares closed, when businesses tightened their belts, you continued on. You kept the community, you kept the economy going, and you've done this through incredible, incredible adversity, including limited access to childcare in this community. Several of our rental relief, rental relief and direct assistance programs are still winding down, but I do want folks to continue to be available, uh, aware of the programs that, that do continue to be available. So help us spread the word. Balancing work and family is tough. I'm sure you know somebody who is struggling with that balance. And so to them, let them know that if they visit harriscountykids.com, if they call the number, they can apply and get a year of free childcare for their children. Time is limited. So take advantage ahead of March 31st to visit harriscountykids.com. Briefly in Spanish, 
Le quiero agradecer al comisionado Ellis, quien ha sido siempre un campeón para nuestras familias, especialmente nuestros niños. Esta es la semana de la primera infancia en el condado Harris. El día de ayer cruzamos una, un, un éxito muy grande y fue el haber aprobado el fondo para la educación temprana, 8 millones de dólares para programas de temprana edad de primera infancia. Eso lo aprobamos un voto de 3, 2. Pero quiero recordarles a todos lo que dije el día de ayer. Los programas de educación infantil tienen un rendimiento a la inversión altísimo. Por cada dólar que se invierte en la educación infantil, regresan beneficios que representan muchísimos más dólares. Los niños con educación temprana se gradúan en tasas más altas, también tienen mejores ingresos y además tienen una probabilidad mucho más, más baja de terminar en el programa, en programas de justicia, en problemas eh, con el sistema penal. Entonces, si a usted le preocupa el crimen violento, si le importa la oportunidad económica, si le importa el futuro de los niños en este condado, debe también importarle la educación temprana, apoyar inversiones en la educación infantil, y eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Parte de, lo, de eso es lo que dis estamos discutiendo el día de hoy. El 31 de marzo es una fecha crucial para aquellos padres que necesiten apoyo en cuanto a el cuidado de los niños pequeños. Hoy día, ciertos padres que trabajan en la industria de servicios pueden aplicar para uno de 10,000 cupos que hay abiertos para cuidado de niños, educación infantil, completamente gratis, por un año. ¿Qué son los trabajos? de servicios, las industrias de servicio, alojamiento, servicios de alimentación y comercio minorista. Por ejemplo, si trabaja en un supermercado, en HEB, en Kroger, en Fiesta, si trabaja en un concesionario de autos, en una gasolinera, si trabaja en, en una tienda, en el centro comercial, todo eso podría calificar. Hay ciertos requerimientos de ingresos, tiene que tener cierto nivel menor de, de tantos ingresos, eh, pero hay 10,000 cupos disponibles para sus niños. Hay, les invito a que visiten la página web. La página web es harriscountykids.com. El teléfono es 713-334-5980. En esa página web o a través de ese teléfono se pueden enterar de cuáles específicamente son las, los trabajos que califican. Ciertos trabajos no son obvios. Por ejemplo, los artistas califican para este programa. Si usted es artista, puede obtener este cuidado eh, para los niños gratuito por, hasta, por un año, 12 meses. Entonces, si de repente cree que pueda ser elegible, aplique la aplicación si es por internet, pero le pueden ayudar por teléfono. Eh, y la cosa es que el 31 de marzo se van todos estos cupos. Les pido que apliquen lo más pronto posible por si hay algún error, alguna pregunta, se puede hacer seguimiento antes del 31 de marzo. En cuanto a quién califica eh, en temas de ciudadanía y estatus migratorio, siempre y cuando el niño sea o residente permanente o ciudadano americano, califica para el programa. Ok, entonces, aunque usted no sea ciudadano ni residente, aunque usted no tenga papeles, si su niño tiene papeles, el niño o niña puede recibir este cuidado. Aplicar es muy fácil. En la página web son como dos páginas. Está la aplicación en inglés y en español. El número telefónico también hay personas disponibles para que le contesten bien sea en inglés o en español. A través de toda esta pandemia, los padres, especialmente los padres y madres, han hecho muchísimos sacrificios y todo esto sin acceso suficiente a guarderías. A través de tantos retos, los padres de familia han seguido adelante para mantener nuestra economía, para mantener todo, todo caminando. Espero que esta sea una ayuda más para las personas con niños chiquitos para poder poner a los niños en una guardería, para poder trabajar, estar más tranquilos. Entonces, ayúdenos a correr la voz 
ayúdenos si conocen personas que estén pasando un momento difícil tratando de balancear la familia con el trabajo, es para ellos que existe este programa. Visite harriscountykids.com. We'll hear now from Commissioner Ellis. Thank you, Judge, and thank you for your leadership on this issue. Uh, yesterday, it was a very hard-fought victory. As the judge mentioned, by a three to two margin, we passed a historic investment in helping children in Harris County, something that had been discussed about, Judge, I think maybe a decade ago, where there was an attempt to do it, but the county leadership at the time opted not to do that. So I'm proud of you for doing that. I also want to thank the Biden administration because the program that she and I are talking about today is as a result of federal money. It will be very embarrassing for Harris County to not use those slots that we have access to. So far, she said, only 1,700 children have qualified <coughs> for the subsidy. There are 12,000 total child care subsidy spots, so over 10,000 more children are eligible. So we're asking our teams to do everything they can. We're talking to other cities and counties, other parts of the state and around the country to make sure we do everything we can not to lose this money before the deadline. So the media, I appeal to you is help us get the word out. She mentioned the website, whatever can be done. If somebody has a bright idea we haven't thought about, if we have time to do postcards, it's like a needle in a haystack, trying to find those 10,000 people who are eligible. And I think if we do that, if we use this money, it will help make the case to our federal partners down the road to invest in children again. The program that you spearheaded on yesterday will help get people out of poverty avoid them getting into poverty. The income thresholds in this program are high enough so a lot of people who would normally think they would not qualify will qualify. So please get the word out. Judge, thank you for your leadership. I have to give a shout out to Commissioner Garcia uh, as well because that vote on yesterday was one where three people, one vote, if one vote had changed, we would not have made that historic investment on yesterday. So thank you. And we'll take any questions. El sistema es así. Primero aplican en, en la página web. Después a la semana van a recibir si sí si van a obtener los fondos o no. Si la respuesta es que sí, entonces eh, la familia debe identificar una guardería dentro de las guarderías que tienen una asociación con este programa. Son bastantes a través de todo el condado, pero no todas. Hay ciertas guarderías bien pequeñitas que para, eh, no tienen pues la capacidad, la logística para manejar este programa. Y después los fondos van directamente del programa a la guardería. Entonces, eso es lo que se ayuda a la familia a navegar e ese proceso, pero es así. ¿Puede ser cualquier guardería de cerca de su casa o de trabajo o si una en particular? No, o sea, tiene que ser una de las guarderías que participan en el programa, de las cuales hay bastantes y a través de toda la área geográfica del condado, entonces dentro de esas, pues, de escoger la que les quede más conveniente, cerca de la casa, el trabajo, lo que sea. ¿Y, y tiene que ser dentro del condado de Harris? ¿O si alguien trabaja, digamos, en otro condado? ¿Sabe qué? Muy buena pregunta y repito ahorita en inglés también. Este programa no es solo para el condado Harris, es para la, re, la región de 13 condados, 13 condados, Austin, Brasoria, Chambers, Colorado, Fort Ben, Galveston, Harris, Liberty, Matagorda, Montgomery, Walker, Waller y Wharton. Siempre y cuando viva en esos condados, califica. So I, I will repeat this in English. Um, what's the process for applying and, and really receiving the funds? So you apply online. Uh, you can get questions answered via phone, but the application is, is online only. And uh, within a week, families will hear back whether they uh, are obtaining the funds or not. If the answer is yes, then they will be able to select a child care provider uh, that is most convenient to them. Not all child care providers qualify for this program or are part of this program. Some are small and they just don't have the capacity to partner with us in this program. But there are many child care providers all throughout the region that do qualify so families will be able to choose the one that's most convenient to them close to work close to home and then the funds go directly from us from the entity to the family uh, excuse me the funds go directly from the entity to the child care provider uh, the funds do not go through the family 
Um, now the question is, do you have to live in Harris County to qualify? And you don't, there are 13 counties that can qualify for this uh, program. So the 13 county region is Austin, Brazoria, Chambers, Colorado, Fort Bend, Galveston, Harris, Liberty, Matagorda, Montgomery, Walker, Waller, and Wharton. All right, a hot topic question for KPRC. Uh, so regarding the fatal accident on the West Park Tollway on January 8th of this year, have you received any answers as to why the wrong way detection system did not activate during the crash? KPCRA is still not providing any response to the question for KPRC. It, any traffic death is a tragedy, and uh, particularly that one. We need to build a system that is not just built for speed, but it's built for safety. And I've been very vocal about the fact that our transportation system is allowing us to be one of the most dangerous metropolitan areas, if not the most dangerous metropolitan area, for traffic and accidents in the nation, which is why I always advocate for transit. I have not been fully briefed on that in particular, but as soon as we have more information, we'll provide it. Uh, one more. Uh, are you concerned uh, with the crisis between Russia and Ukraine could impact the security and local economy? Look, all of us should be watching this. Of course, it, it, it's a major, major issue that I trust our federal partners are navigating as tactfully uh, but also aggressively as they can. And so we're all watching. Um, we're all in communication. And I appreciate our congressional delegation, our uh, federal administration, the Biden administration, for the immense effort they're putting into trying to de-escalate the situation while also making sure that we, uh, that everybody plays by